My guest today is Martin Kern. Martin, how are you? Hi, David. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to my show. Thank you. What I've do you do? I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. No way. Yes, I I'm am. I'm a software engineer it's funny at Microsoft. That, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and you're in the UK. I can tell. I am. Yes, I'm in the UK. I'm part of a global team, but yes, I'm based in the UK. Outstanding. Yeah. What do you want to talk about today? So I've been doing a lot of work recently in the field of document recognition, knowledge okay. extraction, mm -hmm. um, and it's a really interesting area around basically getting data out of documents, and that could be an email, it could be a form an invoice, a receipt. Okay. Uh, there's lots of different ways, lots of different types of documents, and there's lots of different tools for extracting information from them. Um, Microsoft have got some technology in this area, but there's also some gaps. And myself and a colleague, Shane Peckham, have been working on trying to fill those gaps okay. and producing some materials that we can publish publicly for people to use. So, All right, well, let's yeah. talk about the details of the technology. Yeah, sure. I, I'm familiar with optical character recognition, sure, which yeah. is a part of this, I'm Absolutely, sure. Absolutely, yeah. Take a yeah. picture of text, yeah. and you turn that into actual text. But exactly. this, is, this is more than that, right? It goes beyond that, yeah. So we, we have, um, in terms of the services we have inside Azure, there's there's maybe there's three services, really. There's the optical character recognition, as you say, and that's all about turning an image of text into actual text. Mm -hmm. um, which is magic to me. Yeah, right? it Just is. Just right there. It is, yeah. It's, it's a very... Um, We've been doing this for a long time, and it's one of these services that gets better and better and better, yes. and we're, we're in a much better place with that stuff than we were maybe a few years ago. Um, there's another service we have called the Forms Recognizer Service. And that's pretty new. It is very new, yeah. It's maybe um, six months or so, I think it is. Um, and this one's all about, imagine you have a, an invoice that's so a particular format, a particular template, mm -hmm. and you want to be able to identify data on that invoice but you want to be able to extract the data so you want to know what the invoice amount was what the date was what the vendor is that kind of thing okay so, so you're not just uh, identifying text but what's the context of that exactly text? where where is the amount on that form? exactly right yeah so the, the one of the i guess the downsides to just pure ocr is that you all you get back is a load of text mm -hmm. To, to pinpoint the very the, the piece of text within that that you're interested in mm. is very difficult. And that's what this Forms Recognizer is all about. It allows you to do the ACR thing, but also a, a, an extra layer on top to kind of get specific data points out of the documents. Mm. So that's a really neat um, service as well. Um, and we also have Azure Search as well. So Azure mm. Search um, is a way of indexing documents and it can add these cognitive skills on top to do things like um, OCR, things like image analysis and that kind of thing. So hmm. these three services together form the basis of our knowledge recognition um, services. Give me an example of a project where you're using this technology. Yeah, so we, we have lots of projects so the, and, and that's why we, we're doing this work to try and generalize it into something that um, people can use. So uh, I'll give you an example of a company, imagine a company that has uh, receives emails from customers. Okay. Um, imagine a large company, they might receive lots of emails every day. So I receive lots so, of emails <laughs> yeah. every day. So thousands of emails about order inquiries, um, quotes for new work, that kind of thing. Okay. I imagine... Um, at the moment they might have a human process to have to read that email, understand the, the content, understand where to triage it to and where to route it. Okay. Another set of humans might then have to extract the information, do something with it and then reply to the user. Got it. And that's that's not all, that's expensive, you have to hire a human exactly. being and yeah. it's slow. It is slow, People yeah. People waiting for a response have to wait for a exactly. human to exactly. read the email and, and yeah. figure it out. So, so bringing together some of these, so not so much OCR with that one because it's already digital it's already text, text but the, the knowledge extraction piece of kind of understanding the intent of the email, understanding, bringing out the key points of the email and using that data to actually get the answer in some cases. So imagine if it's a, an order status inquiry, there's typically enough information in the email to just look it up on the system mm -hmm. and then reply automatically. Oh. No humans involved at all. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, so it really cuts down on the cost. And using other services like Log Logic Apps, um, the Office Graph integration, uh, perhaps Lewis as well, the lang language understanding service. Okay. And combining all these things together, we can just eliminate that that human wow. cost, basically. So, uh, Yeah, you talk about the cost, and I, it, which is a significant savings. Yeah. But there, I, I always look at it as more than just... Uh, we're just saving costs. We're actually making it better in many cases yeah, for the consumer because they're getting a response much more quickly. Exactly right. Yeah. So you imagine if you if you were to email a company to ask where your order was, and then right. within seconds you got the answer. That's a yeah. really good. That is outcome. great. It's really yeah. frustrating to yeah. have something pressing like you know I bought this thing. I need it today. It's exactly supposed to right. Be here yesterday. Yeah. Exactly uh, right. And then having to wait a couple of days to get a response. Yeah. And so so that's the, the scenarios where we're we're working with customers around invoices. So okay. being able to import invoices, extract the key 
key bits of information from the invoice um, and then do things with them. So there's lots of, any company that processes documents at any kind of scale, I know we've worked with, um, in the UK, we've worked with processing prescriptions for medicines hmm. and, and uh, extracting the information from that and processing all of that. So it's anywhere where there's documents involved, basically, and we want to extract the information from documents. Well, that's interesting. So prescriptions, uh, I see potential, the the danger for mistakes is sure. uh, with the cost yeah. of making a mistake yeah. being really high. How, did, Absolutely, how does yeah. that play into that? Well, I think there legal implications, for example? Um, I'm not sure about legal implications, but certainly um, if there's any kind of scope for if there's any uncertainty so as with anything that's machine learning you get a score with this stuff a, a, a level of confidence level. yeah exactly so uh, there'll, there'll certainly be a threshold where it gets rooted for human review if it's not absolutely sure that okay. that one is a one or that two is a two right. etc yeah yeah so you, you use the you lean on the scores and the, the confidence levels for that stuff uh, yeah, oh, we're, uh, we're at a hack fest right now. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And are you using these technologies for the hacker you've done? We are. We actually and can you talk about it? I can. Yeah, <laughs> we, we're doing. Um, we've got a team of around thirty people uh -huh. working on. So um, what Shane and myself have been working on recently is a, a repository which will ultimately end up on GitHub um, of code modules, sample code, documentation mm -hmm. for how to basically use these technologies in conjunction with one another to solve business problems. Um, and uh, you may may or may not have seen the NLP recipes repository. It's I'm so not. Okay, where, so where is that? It's on, if you go GitHub slash Microsoft slash NLP recipes. Okay. There's a really great NLP repository. as a natural language. Exactly processing. right. Yeah, really great repository there, full of resources about how to how to build and use natural language processing. And we're looking to do the same thing with knowledge extraction. So it'll hopefully be github.com slash Microsoft slash knowledge extraction recipes or something similar to that, it's yeah. something along those lines yeah it's not there yet but we're hoping by the end of the calendar year we're gonna have something up there too so, so that'll be more generalized uh, uh, how to uh, solve to take that and apply it to my specific problem which yeah so never heard of before but exactly yeah it falls so in that category so we've seen enough of these projects now that we, we know what the common scenarios are and we've tried to and we know where the technology itself works well but the technology needs to have gaps filled as well okay. so there's a bunch of Python codes in there there's a bunch of code modules that you can import and use in conjunction with the services that we've got on Azure as well to, to, to do what we need to do here. So that's really exciting. That's what we've been working on this week, all week. Wow. All <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Are you working on your day job as well? Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's my area at the, at the moment for sure. Uh -huh. uh, somebody, people watching this, they're, I'm sure there's some of them that, that really want to get started. Yeah. Other than those repositories you mentioned, where else can they go to learn about these technologies? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I think I mean, the idea of the repository is that is the place where you go to get started, oh, okay. but we that's don't have that right now. But uh, I'd say... Um, so if I want to dive into some of those services? For yeah, so, so you can always just look on the Azure, Azure website, um, search for the um, Computer Vision uh, API, and, okay. and beneath that we've got the OCR module of that API. So that's the one that does the optical character recognition. Yes. You can search for the forms recognizer service as well. Are also, that, that's also part of computer vision. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, it's related to computer. It's part of part of cognitive services, mm -hmm. and then you can also look at Azure Search as well, um, which I, I think may have recently been renamed to Cognitive Search. I'm Is not that sure. Is part of Cognitive Services? I, I don't, I, I don't think I don't think it was, but I, I need to catch up with the Ignite announcements this week because I think there's been oh. some changes in the naming there. But I haven't um, watched. I watched one of the keynotes as well. Yeah, so yeah, we've been so busy this week, yet. we haven't been able to catch up <laughs> on that. But yeah, I think it's either Azure Search or Azure Cognitive Search, uh, and you can look about. That does search and indexing for both documents and data, but it also layers in all these cognitive services as well, so you can get some really rich results that are more than just the, the data on its own, and, and that's all part of the solution as well. Outstanding. Yeah. Uh, are you writing about this? Are you publishing into a blog, or I know you used yeah. to have a video show. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, I do. I do a blog a few things. I did some work with receipt uh, recognition recently, and I wrote a blog about that. But all of the content will go into this repo this recipes repository that we're planning to publish. Oh. Um, so yeah, any sort of writing content will be part of that as well. Uh, so do you have your own personal blog somewhere. That I you do. Want yeah. To Ma Martin K. Me. You can take a look at that. Okay. And it's got articles there's literally, literally tens of people watching this show. Right now, <laughs> yeah, but so they can. Ten more viewers is better. <laughs> name of yours but yeah I mean I do a lot of work with bots with cognitive services um, I do a lot with serverless as well so I often talk about those kinds of things on there it sounds like so. a good topic for a future show yeah maybe yeah I'd, I'd be delighted to Martin cool. thank you so okay. much okay thank you very much I consider my work colleagues to be my friends. Um, we like to go out and socialize, and when we do, we end up talking about technology most of the time.